Hey, what's going on guys? So if you've been paying attention lately to the smart home landscape, you've probably heard about Thread. Today, I just wanna talk a little bit about it. You know, what does it mean for HomeKit and the future of our smart homes? And quite frankly, is it really that big a deal? Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. So like I said, if you've been paying attention at all over the past few months, you've probably heard about this new technology called Thread. Now I've got a lot of questions and many of you seem to be pretty curious about it, so I figured let's make a video. Now first of all, Thread is not even new at all. It's actually been around for quite a while. So why is everyone talking about it now all of a sudden? Well, as you may know, the new HomePod minis that were released this past November of 2020 uh, support Thread. That means that smart home accessories can now connect to HomeKit via Thread for the first time. So if you've watched my HomeKit 101 video, we discussed the different ways that our HomeKit products can connect to HomeKit. HomeKit accessories either support Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or use a bridge in order to utilize something like Zigbee to connect these accessories to HomeKit. And since the release of the HomePod Mini, HomeKit devices can now connect via thread as well. Okay, so essentially thread is just another wireless protocol to connect our smart accessories to HomeKit. Yes, but it is kind of unique in a few different ways. So first of all, what is Thread? Well, the threadgroup.org defines Thread as a low power wireless mesh networking protocol based on the universally supported internet protocol, IP, and built using open and proven standards. Thread networks have no single point of failure and include the ability to self-heal. Okay, so what does that mean? And how is this different? Let's break it down a little bit. So I sort of compare Thread to other protocols like Zigbee or Z-Wave. So these types of protocols connect together creating sort of a giant mesh network, but these protocols will always require a hub. For example, the Philips Hue products, or as many HomeKit fans are familiar with, the Acora products, all use Zigbee, which I like. These products are usually pretty fast and reliable, but they all require their own bridge or hub in order to connect them to HomeKit. For example, if you want to use Philips Hue bulbs, you need to buy the Philips bridge. And if you want to use Acara sensors, then you need to buy the Acara hub. So thread devices actually act much like Zigbee products. They are low power and they can create that mesh network with one big difference. Thread devices don't require that additional hub like Zigbee or Z-Wave devices, for example. In fact, all you need to connect your thread devices is what's called a border router. And yes, that's where the HomePod Mini comes in. The HomePod Mini does act as a thread border router, meaning you can connect your uh, thread enabled smart devices directly to the HomePod Mini via thread. Now the HomePod Mini is the first HomeKit hub on the market that has this capability. And I can only assume that the future iterations of our other existing HomeKit hubs such as you know, the Apple TV or the big HomePod will also include support for thread, or at least I would hope so. And speaking of HomeKit, I should also note that currently all HomeKit accessories that do support thread must also support Bluetooth. So this means that if you don't have a HomePod Mini and you're using another HomeKit hub, such as the original HomePod, you can still use those devices and connect them to HomeKit via Bluetooth. Now, as I mentioned, Thread devices have the ability to interconnect, creating that mesh network, ultimately expanding their reach even further than they can do on their own. So essentially they can connect independently, you know, directly to that border router or your HomePod mini, or they can connect to other thread devices. This is all done really behind the scenes in the background, so you don't have to do anything. And like I mentioned earlier, a thread mesh network has the ability to self heal. So 
if one of those devices craps out for some reason, it will readjust to the next best connection and keep everything running. So it's almost like Thread takes all the best things without any of the downsides that we get with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee products. For example, you know, Wi-Fi accessories have better range than Bluetooth products, but require more power, which usually requires them to be plugged in, whereas Bluetooth products are low power and often run on small batteries, which is nice, but they have far less range than Wi-Fi and are often a bit slower. Zigbee has that mesh capability and is very fast and reliable, but requires an additional bridge. So with Thread devices, we can have potentially even better range than Wi-Fi, plus the low power ability like Bluetooth with all the speed and mesh capabilities of Zigbee without needing any additional bridge or hub. And you know, typically you can run into problems with the more Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices that you add to your home and kind of put on your Wi-Fi network. And with Thread, you should be able to add more of those Thread devices to your home, actually making that mesh network even more reliable as you scale up over time. Okay, so you get the idea. There are some clear benefits to using Thread. But why is all this significant in sort of the bigger picture and you know the future of this smart home landscape? Well, Thread is actually one of the technologies alongside Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that is embraced by Project Chip. Now, you may or may not be familiar with Project CHIP, which is the Connected Home Over IP initiative. Now, this is a working group between those big smart home players in the industry, such as Apple, Amazon, Google, Zigbee Alliance, and many others. And the goal of this Connected Home Over IP project is, and I quote, to simplify development for manufacturers and increase compatibility for consumers. The project is built around a shared belief that smart home devices should be secure, reliable, and seamless to use. So this initiative is taking sort of an open source approach for what is essentially the development and implementation of a smart home standard, which is something we've never had, but would be really nice. The smart home industry has sort of been like the wild west, you know, for quite a few years now. Products may support HomeKit, might support Amazon or Google Assistant and stuff that works with one doesn't work with the other and it's just kind of a mess and us consumers are often left feeling pretty confused. So how could the CHIP initiative kind of you know, fix all this? Well, I envision a day where we can go to the store, buy a smart home product that just works. Doesn't matter if you use HomeKit or you know, Alexa or Google Assistant or smart things or something else. If that product is chip certified, it will be built using that smart home standard and it will just work with whatever your preferred smart home platform is. Sounds pretty damn good, right? Especially for us HomeKit fans. You know, I think this could ultimately lead to more products supporting all of these different platforms hitting the market. So now you may want to know which HomeKit products are out there right now that support HomeKit and Thread. Well, remember, this is all still very new, so there's not a lot yet, but I do expect that this year, 2021, will be the year we'll see a lot of new products out there for HomeKit that support Thread. At least I hope so. But for now, we do have a few options. Nanoleaf was actually the first to roll out some lighting products with thread support. Their essentials line currently including an A19 color light bulb and light strip are available for purchase. Although they have had trouble keeping these products in stock because of the high demand. So you may or may not be able to get them right now. Another company that very quickly started adding thread support for HomeKit accessories is Eve. Currently their latest generation door and window sensor and their EU smart plug supports thread and they should be rolling out support soon via firmware update for their latest generation Eve Aqua and Eve Thermo. So this is great because all of these products relied on Bluetooth before. So support for Thread should actually give them a little bit more range and faster response times. I'm really happy to see Eve adopt Thread so quickly and I'm very excited to see 
you know, what else they do with Thread in the future. All right, so it seems that Thread is sort of a big deal. So what's quite exciting to me about all this is that it seems that Apple is really leaning into that connected home over IP initiative, working towards that smart home standard um, or protocol. The HomePod Mini supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Thread, all of which are included in the first specification release of this protocol. So ultimately, this is a really good thing for us consumers and the smart home market. Now we'll go ahead and put some more resources down below in the video description in case you wanna read up a little bit more about any of these things, whether it's Thread or the Connected Home Over IP Initiative, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Again, check those resources down below. If you learned something and enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. That really does help out the channel. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon for new HomeKit videos released every Sunday right here. And if you want to support this channel even further, consider hitting that join button below to become a channel member. For five bucks a month, you can really help support this channel and get some cool perks in the process like early access to new videos and access to our members only Discord group where we're talking all things HomeKit all the time. Thank you guys so much for joining me and until next time, we'll see y'all later.